city of Portland about to approve paying a man $400,000 to settle a lawsuit over alleged excessive force by police back in 2020. This was during those protests. That man, who is in a wheelchair, talked to our Lisa Balek. She's live tonight downtown. And Lisa, what is his reaction to this? Well, he is very relieved. This is finally over. Now, this was over an incident that happened back in September of 2020. Now, today I talked with Dustin Ferreira about what happened, about the lawsuit that had been filed. Now, he says that he has been fighting this for some time in court. In the lawsuit, he was frequently a participant in the protests, but he was accused now former police sergeant Justin Damerville of using excessive force by kicking his wheelchair, pushing him in the back during efforts to break up protests. Ferreira says he complained to the officer at the time and says Damerville then violently grabbed his arm, lifted part of the wheelchair off the ground, spun it around, pulled his arms to zip tie his wrists. That arrest all caught on camera. Ferreira says he was a nonviolent protester, only using his voice to attack officers. The charges against Ferreira included interfering with an officer. They were dropped the very next day. I asked him now what the settlement with the city means. No amount of money will ever fix or solve the amount of trauma that my community and myself experienced throughout that protest. But what it does do is it allows me to live a little more comfortably. Now, when he says that, he says besides his injuries that night, he talked about the amount of tear gas he was breathing in, and he says he is also battling long COVID. Now, in court documents, Officer Damerville said the protesters, including Ferreira, were told to leave several times or face arrest. Damerville left the police bureau, by the way, two years ago. He now works in another state. Now, the city attorney tells me that he believes this mutually agreed upon settlement is, quote, in the interest of all parties. The Portland City Council is set tomorrow to vote to approve the settlement of $400,000 to be paid out to this man. Back to you. All right, Lisa.